Rain back, and today we have so much to get through. There's so much on Monster Wiki and Turinga in the game. There's just so much going on. Just kidding. There's absolutely nothing that's gone on the past five days. I, I wanted there to be something besides like them offering some legend for 250 gems or 300 gems or whatever, but there's been nothing. And I'm sorry. Uh, there's, I guess, one thing on Turinga. It's just Sweet Perion. I think it's just one of the epics. Um, it might be a new legend um, for the next maze or the next progressive island. I don't know yet. But... Nothing special, but good news, I got Itiander, if that's how you pronounce it, um, and I'll show you guys his skills, what I think of him, um, and then we'll talk about NPS, because not only was I able to breed him after about, I spent about 300 some gems, uh, maybe 400 total, but I know I got both of them, and that's fine for me to rank up NPS, because I like NPS more than I like Itiander, because like I said, Itiander's good, but there's already a legend that's like him, it's Cavendish, he can already do the same things, and... I mean, they have the same trait. I guess he's, I think he's a little faster than Cavendish, but it's the same skills. I mean, it's just another legend, I guess. He's in a couple different books. I guess that would be his benefit. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll talk about that and we'll talk about NPS. Uh, we'll talk about the newest legend that you guys can see in your current maze. Uh, Uru is available. We'll talk about him. I want to talk about him definitely. Um, and then we'll get into the side deals. What's going on over here with the nine wonders of the world. And then last, if you guys want to, I'm not going to tell you to stick around because this might end up being a long video, but only for this reason. Um, I'm going to show you guys some live war gameplay. Uh, of uh, We're going against some heavy hitters, some really heavy hitters, some 130s, uh, level 10 runes. <laughs> Look at this number one. Um, <laughs> the number one, three VIPs. And you can tell right now, it's just, what do you do against this? Three 130 VIPs with all level 10 runes. Um, I'll put right here how much this costs because I'm going to do the math, but I'm pretty sure this is over $500 without question how much these legends were with the runes, uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I don't know how much we're going to have a chance on this war, uh, but first, it's the ender. Uh, I got him, put him to 100 because I don't want you guys to have to watch this. Uh, like I said, I do like this legend, but if you already have, ca I mean, I guess he's a little better than Cavendish in my opinion because he has the AoE blind. Um, whereas Cabin Fish has a, has a skill that gives, uh, I think precision and double damage to, an, to one ally. Um, and his, his cooldowns are two turns and not three or four, which is a lot, which is what usual AOE denies are. Um, but there's just so many good legends in the water category. So I, I'm running the AOE stun, the AOE freeze, but the, the worst part about this is it does no damage. So if you were to rank this legend up, he essentially would only ever be a denier. He could never do damage. So that kind of sucks, but I mean, that's, that's what he's there for. He's not going to try to do damage. He's not going to need to do damage. Um, he has this skill, applies blind all enemies, but very heavy special damage. And then I chose last, uh, the single freeze, because he's in the Dragon's Book. I, obviously, he's going to be in the Sea Book, but he's also in the Good Legions. I think uh, being able to have another stun, which is one of the other skills, it wouldn't be as useful as freeze, because you can run a freeze and a freeze back to back, whereas you couldn't with stun. Um, so that's what I chose on him. And then we talked about MPist. Uh, we'll just compare the stats right now. They're both boosted, so maybe I sh or yeah, maybe I shouldn't show it. Um, but I'll show my NPS when I run on him because I do like this legend just slightly more because he brings a more versatile game to the water category. That's why I like him. Um, possession immunity to all allies, and that's going to be coming into effect pretty soon here when the possession is no longer bypassable by recharging. Uh, possess target immunity to freeze all allies, another good thing, and it removes all negative stats effects. So say they did run an AOE possession and two of your other legends were possessed you could run this and it'll remove all the possessions um in a, in a war so that say dark or even metal based uh definitely pos um magic and then an AOE possession that's that's why he's great on offense he's not so amazing on defense because there are so many water legends but it kind of just depends on the war if it's like a i don't remember what book he's in but if he was in a couple of books um he'd be more useful all right so we talked about them i'm not going to show you guys his gameplay because who wants to watch so i don't really want to watch someone put what I, can just, I mean, you guys know his skills. It's what he's going to run. If it was a really good legend that I really want to see how it performed and not just something specific like an AoE freeze or an AoE stun, I'd show you guys that, but there's nothing special there. Okay, Uru. Now, you guys have about a day left to get this legend, I think. A day and a half. Oh, geez, 12 hours. Okay, so... Wait, that's not right, is it? 12 hours. From right now... Well, there, there's still one more discount... Um, tomorrow. So if he's available from, let's see what time is it now? It's seven. No, yeah, it's seven thirty. There's a discount tomorrow at six a.m. Eastern, or yeah, six a.m. Eastern time, and three a.m. 
Pacific time. You guys can convert this to your own time zone. There's one more discount if you're trying to get Uru. He is a good legend. Um, there aren't many magic legends that have an AoE stun, which is what he's notorious for. Um, so you have 11 hours left, and it goes until... I think it starts at 6. So yeah, you'd be fine, actually. So 11 hours from... Was it almost 8? would be 7. Yeah, so he, you'd be able to get him just in time. Um, the discount's basically going to be like an hour before he goes away. Uh, so make sure you check on your time zone to make sure it does like work with the exact same time that the refresh is going to be. But he should have a discount tomorrow at 6 a.m. if I've done the map right, which I'm pretty sure I have. Um, it's, on, it's on Monster Wiki if you guys really want to check it out. But I, I want to talk really quick, just really quickly on him. Um, he's got the AoE stun. There's only two legends, I think, in the magic category. The all magic category is the AoE stun. What was that? Um, and it's him and Cressandre. And most people don't have Cressandre. Uh, so I would recommend if, if you don't have him, he can diversify your team, especially on, on offense where there aren't many magic legends that have this thing. But there's just, if you don't have a lot of legends, I wouldn't, I mean, he's a good legend. I, I'd put him above, um, i put him above Harusami because he's more versatile where there's so many dark legends that have the A we freeze, the A we possess, the A we stun. I mean, there's just so much. Whereas the magic category, it's almost always A we possession. And he has the A we stun and it's, and it's pretty useful. Um, he has bad trait. But he also got an AoE Daze and I think an AoE Damage Boost, yeah. So that's what I run, the AoE Stun, AoE Damage Boost, and then AoE Daze. He's pretty good, pretty well around the stats, but I do like Cressandre better. But it's, again, it's not one that most people have. Okay, next, uh, the the offers that were available. I'm going to talk really quickly about this. The offer that was available, Voltaic, Haxter, and Frostbite. That is hands down the best offer I've ever seen in this game. I hope you guys, if you didn't have... Even if you did have all three of those legends, just to buy them to rank them up would be, would have been completely worth it. The best offer I've ever seen. Those are the, my three of my top five le legends in this game. I love them so much. Um, then Varuna, Lurnian, and what was the other one? Who cares? It, it was another decent offer. I think it, I don't know. It was a decent offer, not as good as the Frostbite and Hexed one, which was funny because it was like the d the defense one where your defense legends were clearly Voltaic, Hexter, and well, I guess Hexter would be a great. He's but he's one to put better runes on, but. Anyway, now, I don't know why this is messed up, but Brian Hilda's on here twice. Uh, the Magnificent Nine, or the Nine Wonders, I don't know what it is. The Magnificent Nine, sure. Um, Demise, great light legend, but very soon she's going to be severely outclassed by Cloud. So, if you don't have this legend yet, hold off. The Premier Legend Cloud, who I've talked about before, has the same skill as her, gives an extra turn and 100% damage boost, but also has precision in that skill tree going to be much, not much better, but definitely better than Demise is going to be. Uh, learning, he's good. He's got a lot of DOTs, uh, like a Poison, a Burn, and a Stamina Leak, and then a couple other things. He's good. He's not spectacular. What is going on with What is this noise? Computer, what are you, where are you, where are you pulling those noises from? Uh, Brian Hilda. I'm actually, I didn't, I had, I knew she was good. I just didn't know much about her because not many people use her. Uh, being the water category, she's immune to possession, so she's not immune to freeze, but she does have an AoE freeze. Um, I think she has a double damage and possessed. You guys can always check this, but I'm trying to give you a... I looked this up like 10 minutes ago. Um, the AoE freeze, um, a, a single target possess and double damage to that target, and then a 50%... Um, I gotta figure out what this is. This is killing. Oh, this is on Monster Wiki. It's just random ads that are coming down here. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's doing this. Kind of making me mad, um, but she she's good. But I uh, these deals aren't uh, insane. If there was one deal you guys go for, this is the one right here. I love Kirdar. If you guys have seen my videos, you know I love Kirdar. AOE weak to um, nature attacks, and then an AOE nature attack, or you can run the AOE nature attack with the damage boost to herself. It really doesn't matter. They basically do the same thing, um, and then she has a single target stun and a high damage blind. Uh, I love my Kirdar. I put her with 110 because I think she's one of the best legends to put on defense. She's actually on my defense right now in the nature category. And you guys have seen my nature legends. They're pretty good now. I mean, I picked up uh, Silatus and uh, what was that other new one that I really like? The one with the A-Stan. Eldino Volador. I love both of them, but I like Kirdar better. Uh, she's immune to possession, and that is so critical right now um, because when she gets stunned, if she gets her next turn, in, she's going to hit hard. Um, Igursus, one of my favorite defense legends for uh, the fire category and no one know everyone knows about this one now but he is extremely powerful he's basically like a, a, a hard hitting oros um uh, fire damage burn all targets 
quicksand and heavy special damage. But what he's known for is his uh, Agursus type or his uh, Oros type moves. Uh, reflect attacks and receive all single target attacks. So he's got protection and mirror mirror. Mirror mirror only lasts one turn, but it's still really good. And then he can give himself a, sh a shield, uh, burn all targets, and quicksand. I mean, he's got he's really strong. I mean, like, you guys can see, I have a level six. Most people can get like a level five rune. Um, for life and I know he's ranked up so we'd probably put that down to 75,000 but even at 75,000 there are no men, there are no legends that can one hit him without like level 10 runes in that ranked up uh, so he's really powerful I love him and the last one in that deal was Copperbeard you guys also know I love Copperbeard uh, I think I gave him more credit than he originally deserved um, because it was the first metal legend it was the first non-earth legend that had the mountain trait and that is so essential in war I actually have two copper beards, one at 105 and one at 110, uh, because I was able to breed them a couple of times. But uh, I might end up changing this to more. Speed. Monster Wiki, stop it! Oh my gosh! All of allies' skills and cooldown become active again. This is really cool for offense and defense. Uh, he's not much of an attack. It doesn't not an attacking move, but it has zero cooldown. So you can you can actually this is what I've done in the adventure map. You run demise and then run an attacker and then run a copper beard to cool down all the resets on Demise's skills. So you can keep doing this and that's an easy way to get three stars, easy way to get, you guys have seen, I think I have like some of the high, the most stars you can get, yeah. I have 1194 out of 1230 and I haven't done this competitively on the last um, couple offers. And then copper beard also has the, what did I just do with that? I just saw you, no, right there. Uh, the AOE stun, the AOE burn, and uh, one has a high, yeah, high, yeah, right there. Oh, it's just a single target stun. So I really do like him too. I think this would be the only offer that's worth it. But if you guys don't have these legends, I don't know if they're cheaper because I have them and this is just for their sales. And then Baltasar, he's not that great. I really don't like that legend that much. Mercurius, he's pretty good. Uh, he's better for defense sometimes than Volt because Volt can be stunned where Mercurius can't be and there are no other legends in the Oh my god. I hate this freaking I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this stupid one. Um, but um, he's really good for defense. He's a good legend. He's in the superheroes book and a couple other books. I mean, I do like him. Bobby Aga, you guys don't know about what I think about her. She's really great too. Only nature legend that can A we possess, A we blind, A we nightmares, or something like that. Really great legend. Okay, now if you guys have stuck around this far, it hasn't been too long of a video. Um, I'm not gonna tell you to stick around for the war. But if you're interested in watching me go against the 130 BIPs, I'm probably gonna do it just for the video. Like, I don't know if we're gonna have a chance in this in this war, uh, but we'll see. That's really, I, I don't know what to do against this team. Like, I'll go against them last because I know that I'll probably have to save. Actually, I'll probably go against them first. Uh, like I said, if you don't want to watch this, if people, not, not everyone's interested in uh, live war gameplay or like five attacks in a row. But. Um, I know some people do, so I haven't showed you guys war gameplay in a while anyway, so we'll just do this. Um, who do I got? Oh man. I almost want to go with two deniers because I'm scared that when I get hit, it's going to cost me. <laughs> so... Hmm. I can do someone that... Oh yeah, you guys want to see Jasseter, definitely. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do Jasseter, Fuchus, yeah. Jasseter, Fuchus. And the hard header, which will be my, or yeah, my Bella Ball. Okay, so I don't know how, much, how well this is gonna go. Get <laughs> some one thirties. I might. I think I'd go first. I'm really just not sure. Those are all team speeds, which means it shouldn't be. Oh my God, they're all fast. <laughs> oh my God. What is that? What is that move? That's the eighty damage. That's so stupid. I didn't even have a fucking chance. Well, that's just fantastic. There's absolutely nothing I can do here. It's a, um, Nox has an 80 damage, like attacks all enemies, but all allies too. But it did. I'm not. I'm not gonna attack that. This is. This was a huge waste. I thought I didn't do the math, um, but I forgot how insane. I thought maybe I had a chance. I, I knew that they're just team speed, so the max that they're gonna be is like 11%. But 11% seven times. 80% on 130 since that would be uh, some, some bad news bears. I'm, I can't say I'm upset that I lost to 130 VIPs, um, but I know how much that guy probably spent. Uh, okay, let's, let's go with a little bit easier of a battle. Um, the chance. 
you guys probably like Valgar, you don't see him often. And since this is the number two, let's use him a lot stronger. Because he's got life in this. So, we'll do the A with an I with Nishant, the accuracy to my Kiridar, who's not even going, I didn't even think about that. Who's not even going second. Oh, perfect. Oh, I forgot, the Lich is part of the... I didn't even think about that. Right, let's go with week two. Oh, I don't think Lich can just behind me. Um, yeah, I think this is what I'm doing. Weak the nature attacks, and then I'll do the A and This is what I was talking about, why I really like Kiridar. And then, kind of keep killing him. We get two possessed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just give the divine light to my Kiridar. So hopefully Lich doesn't hurt me too much here. I don't think he's gonna get us good. Oh, he's gonna get us good. This is so kind of fun. Yep, yeah, that probably hurt. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And then damage boost with nature weakness. This is probably gonna wipe these two. Oh, did he lose all his way to the Um, I mean, I should be getting another turn in after. Well, he's with two other legends, so I'm going to kill him. I don't think I can do anything here. I can miss. Okay. Ooh, that's tough. Do I go for the kill and the possible miss? Yeah. Because he could have revived some, some teammates there, so that was good. Uh, a little bit, a little bit different than level 130s with level 10 runes. <laughs> So that wasn't too bad. Oh, my other teammate lost. This is be interesting. I kind of want to try this team. Um, who's my other player? Let's go with our Brezzies. With... Let's do what they're doing, huh? I don't need more strength. I don't need judgment. Heck of Oh. Let's use my attacker. My attacker. Oh, let's do that. I kind of want to take on this guy because he's got basically the same range on Proof of Legends. You know, like the best range you can have on. Oh, someone else is attacking him. <sighs> it doesn't really matter. I really don't care about PvP. It's, it's so broken right now. They need to do something about this. About PvP. To, to make it make it worthwhile. Make it worth some of time. I mean, it's not doing anything. Okay, so. Who do I want to use here? Let's use Campus. Right? I like Campus. Um, I like my Incognita, and then throw in anyone. Does it matter who? Um, Dragonia, maybe? Who's got the. Yeah, immune to possession. Immune to instant death, I think? What is the mana I don't know, I'm faster than her. So we got Increase. Win. Perfect. Okay, so we should have this in the bag. Incognita can give a, a, a self boost. Um, actually, she's light, so she can pick up some shit. Who am I worried about? Does anyone have power? No one has power. Demise can't do anything in the first fight. Um, she, she, she has like one of the lowest powers in the game. But that, I mean, it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, but with damage boost, uh, see, that's why I like my Jargonian. A lot of people don't give him a lot of credit, but he's got an AD stun. I don't see how you can ever go wrong. And with the with someone like Demise, who isn't necessarily um, a, a support legend, he definitely, I mean, he can be, but I'm not running for as such. So who do I have to play about here? It doesn't really matter. Let's just get rid of him in the chance, because he's probably my biggest threat. Um, but she not she is a support legend, but I don't run her as such. So any, you can be any legend you want, something that they're not. A lot of people do that. They just run, like you see here, just a rainbow. Not on this one, though. The other one I was going to attack. Just rainbow runes. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it's not, not the way that I think it's effective to run. Um, I didn't realize that my, my camera was all the way this, that high. I wonder what it is. And then this is probably going to kill two of them. Yep. And then all we got is Corrin left, who's got a life run on. That's fine. That's not a bad idea for a... How do you get him to 120, though? That's probably good. How do you get him to 120? That's interesting. Okay, let's 
see if we can go up to that guy with all the... Someone's still getting attacked. Well, he... Someone already lost the attack to that person, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, there's definitely some speed on this guy. I gotta save my... Oh, I can use my, um... Okay, so I can use my Samuel because I'm not gonna... I'm gonna use my attacker in that other category. And then... Do I have a... I don't want to use Senegal. I can use Lux and then I need an attacker. I think want to use a judgment. Right, well, then I don't have to use my Lux and things like that. Wow, wow. What do you guys want to see? Oh, you guys want to see Patreon. I know it. I know you guys want to see Patreon. No one wants to see him. So, who do I have to, I have to kill Bella here. So, that's fine. Now, I'll go first out of those two, definitely. Who's got higher attack? 76, 72. So we'll give my dumb damage and precision to a Patreon. I don't think Judgment has a higher attack than. I'm just pretty sure that Patreon's got like a special attack that's pretty good. I got that one. That's. Support from. Oh, regeneration. Okay, so I'm burning. Oh, so I can't kill her. That's not good. Oh wow, she's probably gonna take out one of my. Oh, but I can res. I can always do that. I'm um, gonna res because he's got some level ten runes, I think. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! That might actually kill all three of them. Maybe not my. Oh my god! What freaking luck right there! <laughs> uh, I want to say that like I'm upset, but. If there was a way to lose an attack, it would be not knowing which one has a special... Uh, I know Lao Lao did, if I would have had Lao Lao. But I didn't have Lao Lao, and it looks like I'm getting tanked in war right now. Um, I really want to take on this guy, but I don't want to wait around for you guys to watch the video. So, um, I don't know which one's the toughest out of these three. I can look around these three and pick which one is the toughest. In the top 10. It looks like that 130 is pretty tough. So between this one and this one, who is tough? I don't think life runes are that tough, but a Heru Salmi at 130 is more of a threat than a Dark School at 130. So I think I should take on him if this one doesn't go off. And that sucks. <laughs> you can 115 with two level 10 attack runes gets his special on his first turn, wipes my entire team. That's just great. Alright, so you guys will get to see my newest favorite light legend. And then we'll throw in Sarah or was one of these possession? No, that'll be good. Okay, so we'll go with that AoE stun. Uh Ingvar doesn't have a chance here to go first. <coughs> AoE stun, and then I'll be able to possess Harusami. I can land this on Ingvar. Perfect. And then possess. Perfect. Like I said, it, it, it's 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 always important to know what legends are have what traits because if I hadn't had if I hadn't chosen uh, Laomu over Sarah there, Sarah doesn't have a possession skill or like a free skill obviously, so I wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, if I would let Harusami, because look, at, oh, I didn't even hit that. I meant to look at Harusami's attacks. Did I just pick out oh, lines? What is his attack? Though? Is it team attack? Um, okay, so we'll take out. Might as well. Let's well take out Ingvar. I don't really want to deal with him again. And then. Random effect. A high damage one. Yeah, I'll go with some poison. It's not really going to do much as far as damage, but I think that I have one attack. Close the family, can this pause stuff. This might not, this might get one attack, but with 4700 damage, there's no way that he's going to kill someone. Even if he could, I could res him with my... I don't understand how that, that, that something's wrong with that power. Because look at this. 88% boost to damage. Something's wrong. It, it's either like the ink. It's something wrong with this. Because 3700 power is not even close. That looks like a base power. 
and at one of at one hundred. Or no, one yeah, one thirty I guess. But that's not right. I mean <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah, something's wrong there, but alright, well I mean I lost to the one thirties and I could have told you if I had gone first it would have been a chance, but I didn't run all team speed. I wish I would have done that. I wish I had one more chance to do this. Um, attack so I could run like two one team speed legend all team speed and then one that was my denier but I didn't do that and that's my fault but then I got the super bad there <laughs> 115 with uh, two level 10 um, that's really all I had I mean nothing special I, I want to bring you guys news but I definitely want to tell you about Iru I want to show you guys Itchy Ender and kind of what he can do when he can bring the table and then more gameplay if you stuck around this long thank you for that um, but thanks for checking out the video and I'll catch all you guys in the next one